guys, it's Belle here and I am back with week 18 of the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge and hopefully I'm caught up again. Um, this week, oh, firstly, uh, I will leave links down below to Marguerite Miller's Etsy store where you can purchase the challenge um, from and to her YouTube channel. And um, I have a playlist both of last year's and everything I've done this year, if you want to check that out, if you haven't seen any of my previous ones. Anyway, let's get started. Um, so this week, there is no memory keeping. The last two weeks, I've done some memory keeping collages as part of this challenge, which has been lots of fun. But this week, there's no memory keeping. So week 18 something that emits heat i have this image of the sun it's from my um from the apothecary sticker book uh which i will leave the links down down below because i do have a flip through of that a path or a road so i have this page out of a magazine if you look here there's a path in this image and then the next thing is something that spl splashes there's this beautiful fountain so that splashes so i'm going to use that white space so we'll leave some white space somewhere that'll be difficult but we will do it a form blank or filled in so i have this from a vintage uh, knitting book uh, magazine this is the other side of it i love this um I love this picture. I should be able to just get part of the form and keep part of that picture. So that's good. And then bonus a uh, ticket. So I have this left over from a ticket that I used in another collage. And I also have some raffle tickets here. And I also have the vintage goldfish that the other one I used in another collage as well. So I thought I might use it here as something that splashes. So let's get started. I feel like I want this in the background first. And maybe I could leave it off so there's white space down here. That might be an idea. So let's just tear this bit. So yeah, I hope you guys are all okay. Um, I was still inspired actually <laughs> with this collage. Um, I was inspired by the fact that it is feeling like summer right now in the UK. Look at those beautiful autumn trees there. Ugh. Um, yeah, it is feeling like summer. It is crazy how warm it is. I mean, it's <laughs> it's not like ridiculous in the 20s or something. Um, I'm also going to trim this out as well for the path. It's not like that. Like it's what, I don't know, 18 degrees or something um, or 15 degrees I don't know but it feels so warm so I went for my usual Sunday walk at a local woodlands um, that me and my partner go to every Sunday or most Sundays of the year and it was so warm I had sunglasses on and no coat um, and yeah it was just it was beautiful and the some of the geese have babies I was surprised. Some of them look quite big, actually. We haven't been for the last few weeks because we've been away. Uh, so I was surprised at how big some of the babies were already. But um, some of them were little and lots of the geese had no babies at all. I think we only saw maybe four sets of geese that had babies. But it was such a lovely surprise. The unpleasant surprise was the fact that all the yucky flies are out, like the big um, ones that can sting and bite. Oh, I didn't like that because of the lakes. They can be around. and Oh, I didn't like that at all. We don't get any of that in the winter and the autumn. Um, so, yeah, that was a bit like, <laughs> no, not going that way. And it was super flooded, which I was also very surprised about. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to put that there like that because I don't want to cover up the, um, what's it called? I mean, I could cut a bit more off down here so we could get a little bit more, but this is really pretty. Yeah, but to see the little babies, oh my gosh. And we take, um wild bird food that's specifically for swans and geese and things like that it's got vitamins and that added uh, you see all the little ones down there with their parents and their 
giving them bread, which is just something you do with your kids, isn't it? Like I remember doing that with my kids when they were little, you take some bread, but actually bread's really not good for ducks and geese and swans. It's really, really not a healthy thing to feed them because they get super bloated, but they get no nutrients from it. Um, but it's just something you do, don't you, with kids? Um, but anyway, we have, unless I want that bit there. I think I want that bit because it's more interesting than just name and address. Um, yeah, so we took that bird food down that we have with us. And, uh, yeah, it was just lovely being there for our morning walk. Except, like I said, running from all the big, like, bitey, fly, waspy things. But the pollen as well. I felt like I was in some sort of... Shakespeare or fairy type, uh, fairy like like the fae the she um fairies because all the pollen the white fluffy pollen um from like the dandelions and that it was just floating in the air it looked like it was snowing that's how much pollen there was which is a nightmare for my partner who has hay fever <laughs> because that is not what he wants um and it was all getting in the car and everything uh, but I'm going to cut this out a bit more, not super close, but a bit more. Um, but it was magical as well. It was magical for me because I don't get hay fever, but it was just so much of it. I haven't seen that much. Well, I can't remember the last time I saw that much pollen in just floating and it was carpeting the floor, um, in a way that literally made it look like snow, but fluffy snow. It was, it was quite magical um and yeah all the geese and the ducks and their babies and yeah it was just lovely i think i'm going to put that up there but we still need to get the path on here which i have this one which can actually go over this photo because it almost looks like the same photo but you can still see the bits with the um fountain so I thought I'd be inspired by the way it's feeling all summery here at the moment and do a summer s kind of inspired collage. Um, yeah. And it always reminds me of, you know, taking the kids to... Um, I do like these tickets. Like the... These blue tickets. Uh, it reminds me of taking the kids to when you take them to the, um, oh, what they called, uh, houses and places like that. Um, all the historical places in the summer and they're off for the summer holiday and you're like, right, pack up. We're making a picnic. We're just going to get in the car and we're going to drive to some national heritage spot or um some other point of historical uh, interest so it kind of reminds me of that and also you're in the garden more and you're doing more out there and all the flowers I mean my cherry and apple tree are absolutely covered in bloom the pear and um, plum tree they were in blossom a few weeks back but the apple tree is absolutely covered in these stunning pale pink blossoms and it just makes me smile when I look out of the window. Um, I'm going to put that up here, the tickets. Yeah, I thought that one worked better with the colour scheme. And then I'm going to use this sticker because it is the sun. And it reminds me of summer. I was going to just put that, well, I don't know, I was going to put it up here, but you're not going to see much, but it will leave some white space, especially if I do it like that. So I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to put that sticker down. You can just see the bottom of those. I should have only used one um, of the raffle tickets, shouldn't I then? But there we go. Oh my gosh, that was super, super quick and I really like it. So something that emits heat, the sun. A path or a road, we've got this path going through these beautiful like woods or um, open green space, something that splashes, a fountain for goldfish, white space, a form, 
either blank or filled in and bonus our ticket so that was super quick how we did that but i'm happy with how it turned out and i got to use up that other vintage uh, goldfish that was sitting in my collage box which is always a win and now i'm just going to put this on the back and we were all done this came together so quickly this one <laughs> probably because i wasn't thinking too much as well about uh, memory keeping and stuff so yeah, you get distracted into memories, don't you? Which is a good thing. That's what they're there for. But, um, yeah. Little baby geese everywhere. And I'm hoping we can see the swans soon. We always see the swans, so I was a bit worried. But there was massive flooding. So maybe they were just around a part of the woodlands that we couldn't see um, because of the flooding. Because our usual walk route, we had to actually cut in half because we couldn't actually physically get around there due to all the flooding. So from the lakes, they'd all like burst their banks and gone over. So that is everything. That is week 18 of the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back again soon. And until next time, guys, I hope wherever you are in the world, you are having lots and lots of crafty fun. Bye for now.